we're kind of running through all these Greeks because this is really just sort of an introductory uh, seminar. In my online education series, I've got a whole four-part series archived for my students to access. And it's an hour and 15 minutes on each of the three trifecta Greeks, delta, theta, and vega, plus a fourth presentation that kind of ties them all together and shows you really how to use it. And I use real screenshots of real option chains. And we, t we talk really, really hands-on. So you know, this is kind of an introduction to that because you know you kind of need to get down these basics first, and then in my online education series, I show you how to use that. So we'll talk a little bit more about how you can access my online education series later. Now let's talk about theta. Say we have a forty dollar stock, and there's three months until expiration. The forty strike call is trading at two. Let's say a month passes and the stock is right there at 40 bucks a share. What's the new price of my 40 strike call? Go ahead down where it says questions and type in some guesses if you'd like. Okay. We've got a couple of guesses here. Survey says about $1.65. Now, let's say another month passes, and the stock incidentally is still trading at 40 bucks a share. Maybe it went higher or lower, but it's back at 40 bucks a share. Nothing else changes. What's the new price of my 40 strike call? Well, it should be about a dollar 10. Now, this is an example here, and somebody is, and I was going right there. John is asking, how did I arrive at that? Well, I used an option pricing model that has the Greeks embedded in it. And I can use that in you know, sort of an academic presentation like this, but I can also use an option pricing model to make real decisions in the real market. On my website, markettaker.com, I've got an option pricing model that I encourage students and, and non-students as well to use any time they want. It's just under the Options Information tab, and then in the left-hand navigation, you would click on uh, Option Tools. It's essential to use an option pricing model so that you know how your option value changes as time passes. And here's the idea. We're talking about theta. As it, option prices decrease in value as time passes, and it makes sense. Given a call, if you have the right to buy the stock at 40, what would you rather have? Would you rather own that right for two years or two days? Clearly, if there's, if there's more time in the life of the option, it's of greater value. So as time passes, options get worth less. This is known as time decay or erosion. Now, whether an option is in the money, at the money, or out of the money has an influence on its time decay. At the money options have less time decay initially, but they gain time decay, or that is they lose their value faster as expiration approaches. In the money and out of money options, they have a more linear rate of time decay. They 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 lose their value at a pretty steady rate, you know, maybe a penny a day every day. Now we can estimate how much we lose in time decay with the Greek theta. Theta is the rate of change of an option price as time passes. And it's measured in dollars and cents. 